Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to talk about some of the things you must know in Brighter Shore. So the first thing we're going to see here is your health bar does go up after each and every fight. So you see there, my health bar is kind of low while we are taking out that Goblin Chief. As we go to the next one, my health bar is going to be full. So after every fight, you are going to heal. So if you're going to win a fight, there's no need to use your potions. Another thing to kind of note here is you see all of this gear on the ground, right? After this fight, I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to show you a very important spell. It's called the Quartermaster Spell. If you guys don't have this yet, make sure to get it because it's very useful, at least when training uh, the guard skill to have it because there is going to be times like this where you don't have enough backpack space. And if that is the case, you go to your backpack and you can actually use the quartermaster spell and you can deposit all of your gear, deposit all backpack gear. So just like that, all of the backpack gear has been deposited. And now you can also withdraw it if you accidentally, you know, put something in there that you wanted. Like, let's say this helmet. I actually want to equip that, and I just equipped it just from that uh, spell alone. So it's very, very useful. It's basically a big backpack for gear and weapons. Um, so definitely take advantage of that. All you have to do is talk to the quartermaster in the beginning town. So it's going to be right here. Quartermaster, quartermaster shop. This is going to be where you're going to talk to the guy, ask about a spell, and he should give you the spell. So the next thing I really wanted to kind of mention is that every red enemy on the map is going to be hostile. So they're not going to just let you alone. Um, so you can see here, Death Crows are not red. They are orange. So they're going to actually leave you alone. If you walk by them, they won't attack you. However, Thieves in Tim's Alley, they're red. They're hostile. They will attack you. Goblin Soldiers as well will attack you. You know what we're, we're attacking right now is the uh, the Goblin Chiefs. They also, they're also going to attack you. So definitely take a look at these while you're running around. They could definitely kill you if you're too low of level or don't have enough good gear on you. Um, so be aware of that. Another thing you want to definitely quickly know is that Control S will actually showcase everything in that room. So Control S is the hotkey for the ability Sense. Uh, they do the same thing, control us and sense. Um, they actually showcase everything in the room so you can actually discover stuff. And so when you look at the map, you're going to be able to see what's in that room that you previously were in if you discovered it. So very useful to do that. Another thing that's quick is a shortcut called control F. This is with this game and without this game. Uh, control F is going to be that full screen shortcut that's going to be very helpful. Um, another thing to notice is that we are getting attacks here in even though we don't have this passive upgraded. So if you look at your profession, you can see that my, nest, my first knowledge point is actually 35% away. So I don't have a single knowledge point that I've used yet. However, because I'm in a hostile area, I'm being attacked and it's kind of like getting AFK rewards. So if I stand in a common spot, maybe the middle tile here, this guy was just going to attack me after my shield goes away. As you can see, there's a little light shield around me because I was just in a fight. After that goes away, I will be attacked because I'm in a hostile area and I'm in the middle of the map and it's pretty easy for these guys to see me. So because of that, it's another thing to note. You can actually do some AFK activities with, you know, still half AFK-ish. Uh, without having a pip in the knowledge sector. So the next thing I really want to mention is XP boost because you can get XP boost with the Enchantress. The Enchantress actually, if you look on the map, is going to be right here. You can actually enchant items and uh, these items will help you get higher and more XP. It does not work with combat or specifically the um, guard skill. I always have to look as guard is just not what I'm used to with uh, OSRS and all those games that uh, have combat skills. But guard skill is actually not going to be influenced by additional XP gains from the Enchantress, but you can get additional XP from potions from the Alchemist. So there's XP potions from the Alchemist, so definitely take advantage of that as soon as you can. At level 50, you can buy your first cape. So another thing to note is that capes are available. There are skilling capes in the game. So we'll actually go to the cloakroom real quick since we're close enough and uh, kind of showcase what that looks like. I probably should pick some of these up because they're going to go away on me potentially. I actually don't know uh, how fast they go away. Let's see if they we leave a room. Will that be another little learning experience? So if you leave the room, they do stay there. I'm not sure how long they stay there. I've logged out and logged back in multiple times in the you know equipment or gear dust on the ground though. So we'll see if uh, we can get an exact time on how long. Um, but yeah, let's go up here to the cloakroom. Here we go. And let's see at what level, and just kind of showcase that level 50 is where it begins. So buy future items, level 50 guard, level 100 guard, level 200 guard, level 500 guard. So these are the 
milestones that are going to give you an exact cape for your skill. Um, and they only have the episode one uh, skills as well. That's obvious. The episode one professions are the only ones you can buy here. So just take advantage of that as soon as you can as, you know, getting a cape seems to be very hard at this moment as I have no cape and I have no jewelry. Another thing to quickly mention is that you may get a weapon or gear drop that is untuned. I got this very early on with a really nice legs that I got from a level 2 mob. I believe it was what I kill. Oh, you know what? It was these right here. It was these crows, these death crows. They were the early version of the death crows. As you don't know, if you don't know, I should say, the guard skill actually levels up enemies when you level up. So this goblin chief, eventually he will level up to a higher level because of my guard skill leveling up. So these, at one point, these Death Crows, I believe were level two, and now they're level 16. So they kind of recycle that enemy in a way. But these are, I believe, are what dropped me my purple pants. And these were untuned, and I had to tune them. By tuning them, I mean you go and you do a quest called the Obelisk. And once you complete that quest, you can actually go to the Obelisk. If we go to the map real quick, I'll show you. Go to the obelisk and you can uh, tune your weapons in your gear. So you can actually start using it after you do that. So make sure to do that quest. It's actually a very useful quest because you're going to get drops. and You're going to be sad that you can't use them right away. And lastly, one of the things I want to mention is if you are going to, let's see if we're close to one right now, and uh, we're not too close to one, but you guys should know this by now. It's kind of a more of a early, early game um, kind of hint here if you guys do have questions on what makes what you can go into the kitchen or the alchemist and actually see the recipe book it'll tell you exactly what you need and how much of you need and you know where to actually interact it's a very very simple uh, explanation on how to make what you want to make so that's at the apothecary and the uh, the cook or chef kitchen um, that's where you're going to want to go to the recipe book and see exactly what you need to do to make what you want so that's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. The only other thing I would mention is definitely settings. If you guys haven't looking at uh, taking a look at settings, um, there's some privacy settings that definitely need changed. So at the beginning of the game, you can't actually see other character names. They can't see your name. They can't send you friend invites, all of this stuff. So go to your privacy settings. Make sure to put this stuff on anybody, friends, 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 anybody. Um, make sure you have yourself available to people so they can actually message you and it feels like a social game. I'm not sure if this is just because this is a closed beta that they are doing it this way but uh, if not make sure your settings are set up so you can actually interact with people and friends in the areas that you're in uh, again that's about all for me today if you guys have any questions comments concerns let me know down in the comments below i'll see you guys all in the next one